Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Uh, today we're going to do a, an American lock. It's more of a little tutorial. Um, I'm also going to be doing a challenge lock. They're, uh, they're still beating me at the moment. I think I'm losing my touch. Um, but I came across uh, something on a couple of forums the other day on some of the Locksport community that uh, a few lads out there was having problems with the 1100, American 1100s, and asked for any advice. Um, so I've got quite a few tutorials out there on picking locks and some American locks, but I thought I'd do a refresh one and try and make it a little bit more in depth for the uh, for for those who are having problems, and I can link it to the um, the pages and give them something to go to. Um, but first of all, I want to say a big shout out and a big thank you to K1 Locks. Your sticker finally arrived, my friend. Absolutely awesome. Um, I've already found a space for up there at the end of this video. We will be sticking it up. I'll leave, the le leave his name and his link for his channel in the description. So what we've got is a typical, very nice purple, typical 1100 uh, padlock. Uh, I've used, what it is, I've got lots there. I've used the most newest one that's here. Um, they have a typical, what I call an F key, F key wake, it looks like an F. Here's a 5300. Uh, you can see a complete different style of padlock, but the cores are exactly the same. You usually five pin. Um, you do get some different types of coreways, but the most common coreway core in the uh, American locks, 1100s and that 5200s, is like an F style keyway. And it's all about light tension with these until um, it's find the key. Massive bunch of American lock keys for all my locks. Um, I think this is it. Yep. There you bitted. Quite aggressive. Um, but yeah, usually they're filled with serrations and spools. Uh, you do get a standard pin in there as well as usual. Um, wrong way around. I pick the American style, which is pins at the top for the American lock. Um, yeah, it's light tension. Um, I also get asked about the, the tools that I use for picking. Um, so I use a medium hook mostly. You can use a deeper hook depending, but most of the time I use a medium hook. And the three different wrenches, two that I use, one that I don't. Um, you get this style of wrench, or the curved ones with the flex now, don't get me wrong, they're really great locks, uh, good for yales and things like that. But for me, the American locks, the very, very slight serrations, I find that the flex dulls it just a little bit where I use a pry bar, which is a lot stiffer. There's no real flex in it. So that, that serration uh, or spool, the, the field travels straight up the uh, pry bar. Let me know what it is. And also gives a nice click. Um, this is a homemade tension wrench, a window wiper blade. It's this, practically the same as the pry bar, except for this goes in at the top and you're usually just pushing around rather than straight in. Uh, but it's the same thing. Um, there's no flex in it. So it gives me some really nice sound and feedback so it is a uh, i would you know use the top of the keyway as you would and then use very light tension not so much light where it, it, you can test it yourself if it's too light and you're pushing it so if I, i'm i'm just resting my finger on it now the pins are not really clicking they're just pushing up but if you give it you just push it really light and then just touch on the pins you'll You'll know when you've got a serration or a spool. Spool, you're going to get a fault set. A serration, you're going to get a really nice sounding click. Oh, we've got that number off the first pin there. We've got a slightly turn of the core. Let me just pull the zoom out just a little bit. And getting that counter there we go that was a spool because it gave me counter rotation if it was a so I'm getting a bit of counter there but I don't think it is that
There we are. We're open. Now, we'll, let me re, re lock that. And I might see if I can. You didn't really hear the uh, serrations then. Um, See if we can hear them serrations. So let's go for that first pin. That was a serration. If you hear that really nice click. And there we go. That was set. As you can see, the core move at the same time. That was from your pin number one. Now I'm getting counter on three. And now that that's set. That was definitely a spool. Okay, no counter of three or four. Oh, we've got a little turn of the core there. That was set. So I think we're looking for the one pin now. Definitely not two. Two's not moving, which means it's set. To go through each individual pin, and there we go, we're open. It was on that stool. Um, so yeah, that it, it's a really you know play about the video and you turn the volume up, you'll hear that really sharp, crisp click, and that is your. Apologise, screwdriver. That is your serration, and, and you like I say when you um right, uh, penny tray. Let's get one of Bobby Key's super duper quality trays. Love this. I to be honest, everything Bobby's ever sent me, <laughs> it's always been top notch. Uh, so there's our colour. Now the thing about the core is we can lock it back up because we have the key. No worries. Take out my other Bobby Keys gear. Oh. And I actually let's take the zoom. There we go. Zoom down. Right, let's get this little one off. Oh, this is playing chase me. So, we'll do it that way. That pung pinged up. I <laughs> found it. <laughs> that pinged up at 100 mile an hour. There we go. Right, so we need a follower. Let's have a look. Uh, that'll do. Like I say, that was the bit in. Fairly aggressive. Let's turn it sideways. Put the follower in. And let's let's not get stuck. I'm stuck on something. Give me one second. We saved it. One of the pins had jumped out, but we got it. So let me show you. That's not because that's the wrong. There we go. I think. Yep. So, as you can see, with this core, even though it's got all those stuff in there, serrations and things. It's it's a waste of time on some of it. 
So we got number three didn't need picking and number five didn't need picking really. It was only one, two and three. Um, keepings themselves are just standard keepings. They don't have anything on them. Let's get to the, uh, the magic part that gives us all that trouble or any decent feedback. So, so we're going there. First one is a serrated spool. Yeah, there's one in the first one. And you see that little couple of serrations on that spool. And there's one with our serrations. You know, you can see that. And number two is a stock pin, nothing on there. I would expect that from that core. We're going to check out anyway if it's been done right. Some sometimes you can get American locks and they just don't. Um, another serrated spool is they don't don't always put their uh, driver pins in a good order and don't end up actually in the key places they're supposed to be effective in. There's plenty of American locks. As a standard one. There's plenty of American locks I've picked over the years. Uh, I'm not going to take the springs out. They're just tiny brass springs because it's nothing about challenge or anything like that. Um, so it's spool one, like I said, I said there was a, you could feel a spool in there. We've got that drop and um, this one has very tiny serrations on the top and the bottom. And your next one, as you can see, is some very nice serrations. They're those really nice clicks that you'll get, those sharp, crisp ones. Uh, standard and another spool with serrations and another standard one what I'm going to show you is this so this is our core now we know we can't put any uh, pins in On these two, so let's see how two and three would work. Two, three, uh, one, two, and four. So you get your your spool, as you can see. That spool fits in there perfectly. So, and that air runs under there. Cut it. Get off. <laughs> you can see our spool. Now our spool is when it pushes against there. That's where you get that fault set from. As you can see that. And number two is our uh, serration rated, which drop in there. It doesn't go in very deep. This is what's quite I would call quite annoying because it's not even getting any real use out of this. You're gonna click off the top serration, yep, yeah, you can feel it, just the top one and that's it. Or the bottom one on it, depending on where you are. And then in number four, you get the spool. That does work in here fine, as you can see when you get that, you get that. Which gives you that fault set. But um, pretty much pointless having a serrated one in there, might as well just have the standard in the rest of them. Uh, and you can see it can have six pins, depending on your key. But most of them are five. But um, yeah. I hope you found this interesting or helpful at all. Like I say, it's really light tension. The only time you need heavy tension is once you see that full core turn and you've unlocked it, the actuator and the spring is actually quite strong. And sometimes you can think to yourself you've not actually picked it and you're, not, and you're going to get angry with yourself. But in reality, you have picked it and you need to put some more pressure on that, um, on that pry bar or tension wrench to overcome the actuator to open it. Um, just because the springs are so quite stiff in them, it, sometimes I've I've actually done a video and I picked a, picked one of these and I was getting frustrated and, and didn't realise I'd actually opened it. I just not applied more pressure, and then it went pop and it was done. But um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.